Hey there, it's Kelly here, one half of the Self Love Sisters, and today we're going to look at setting up your coin jar wallet. Now, coin jar is an Australian wallet where you can purchase Bitcoin. You can also um, fund your wallet directly from your bank account using the BPay or Poly methods. Those two methods are fee free, so that's one of the advantages of coin jar. If you're not in Australia, then I recommend. Um, looking doing a search for the appropriate wallet for your country because the thing about these wallets is that you need to be able to upload in your local currency so um how you you could do that by googling best bitcoin wallet for australia best bitcoin wallet for new zealand best bitcoin wallet for usa whatever country you're in just do a google for the best bitcoin wallet and see what results come up now when you are looking at the results you want to compare um, the things that are important to you one of the things might be fees one of the things might be um, whether or not they have a swipe card or a debit card associated with their um, wallet so those are just a couple of things to look at but for now we're just going to get started. I'm going to start by going to coinjar.com and going to get a coin jar wallet for free. So we're going to enter full name. Kelly okay, Slattery, my email address. Kelly okay, Slattery, I'll use my Gmail. Then click the sign up one. And that's going to take just a moment. And I don't actually want to get the latest news about Bitcoin and CoinJar, so I am going to go in here, select a password, and you want to have a password that is um, got some capitals, some numbers, and some symbols so that you've got a good level of security on there. And hit the sign up button. going to sign in and I think it's going to tell me that I need to verify my email. Oh yes it does. A message with the confirmation link has been sent to your email address so click the link to activate it. So I'm going to go over to the email, we're going to refresh, see if it's coming in. There it is, our confirmation instructions. Welcome to CoinJar. We're just going to hit the confirm my account button. And it's going to load a new page for us to sign in. Now when you do go through this process, each of the um, wallets will require you to upload documentation to prove your identity um, and the reason for that is because of the anti-money laundering laws which are pretty much in every country and so that's a good thing for us because that means that um, there's some regulation on this side making sure that um, Bitcoin is used for legitimate purposes and not for any nefarious purposes. So that is a good thing. We uh, now need to choose a CoinJar username. Um, so what should we use here? This is always... We have read and agreed to the coin jar terms of service. Those terms of service, uh, let's have a quick look at them. Obviously, I've read them when I set up my um, original coin jar account. Just doing this little exercise to show you guys how easy it is. So, the terms of service. Um, need to be over 18 years of age if they make any changes that's okay with them have 
have to be registered. You're not going to use it for any unlawful purposes. Now this one, services. Coinjar provides a hosted Bitcoin wallet where you may store, transfer and send your Bitcoin to other Bitcoin addresses. So one thing I want to mention here is that when your money is in Coinjar, Coinjar has um, access. If you've read our book, you would know about the private keys and public keys. So you actually don't have the private keys to your wallet on Coinjar. So we actually don't recommend leaving your money in Coinjar once you've got a... Um, a different wallet where you have access to the private keys that's where you can keep your money because that gives you another level of security that you have the ownership because as as we mentioned in the book your private keys are ten tenths of the law it doesn't matter whose private keys you have if you have those private keys you are the holder of that account because you have access to that account which is why it's so important to um, treat your private keys uh, with the utmost of utmost importance. So now that we've chosen our username, we are going to confirm that that's the username that we want to keep. And that is going to take us to the next step where we have to choose our country. You'll see here that there are other countries to choose from. And we're going to save that. And you'll add your mobile phone and get a verification code. I'm not going to verify my mobile with this account. As I said, it's a, it's a demonstration account so that I can show you guys how to set up your Coinjar account. So now we're in the back office of Coinjar and you can see there's options to turn on enhanced security, which is always a good idea. But you can't actually do anything in Coinjar until you get verified. And that's the KYC or know your customer process that each of these providers needs to take us through to verify that we're not criminals doing any illegal activity or some, something of that nature. So I'm not going to fill this in. I'm just going to show you so that you can confidently go in and set up your own wallet and this is the same or similar there's a similar process for the different wallets around the world so you're going to go through these three steps your personal details upload your identity documents and then um, Coinjar is going to, to do a compliance review they're going to review your documents and confirm whether or not that is sufficient evidence of you being you so your identity information is your name, your gender, your date of birth, your country of citizenship, your town of birth, your current address and your previous address if you haven't lived at your current address for more than three years. Now I had just moved to Australia when I set up this process so obviously I hadn't been in my current address for um, any significant amount of time so I um, added my previous address and then um, through the documentation process which is step two so you complete all that hit continue and then your uploading of identity documents will be something like your passport or driver's license you need to make sure that your name matches sometimes I add my middle name sometimes I don't I used my passport my middle name is on my passport so you do actually need to have your full name as it appears on your um, identification documents so when I did it the first time it got pinged as declined because I hadn't added my middle name so that's just something to be aware of the other piece of identity is verifying your address and that was simple enough for me once I got my bank statement from my newly opened account so your two identity documents are going to be a photo ID um, and a proof of address once you upload them and submit them the compliance review team looks at those documents and usually a 24-hour turnaround and then you are able to fund your wallet but to get started this will take you um, like I said 24 to 48 hours maybe for the comp compliance team to review everything so you you just want to take one step at a time and get that done so that's it for setting up your coin jar wallet and getting started